So I gotta get my body ready for this intro. Okay, hello YouTube and welcome to the Street Bandito. Today we're gonna be finishing the body work on the Lexus before paint. Um, Welded in a little panel for the antenna. Uh, removing the front and rear bumper. Okay. The air conditioning. And I think that's about it. So here we go. We're letting, uh, we're letting Greg vlog. I'm just gonna take over. It's easier to do the intros this way. something in the truck, so we put a squid. Yeah. We wrote to write your name right there. Squid Mike! <laughs> see what Greg doing up here. I'm doing the real work. Cutting AC lines with my bare hands. I stopped giving me this Joby. No, we're good. No, you know what? Because I'm going to take over. Alright, well let me take a second to explain what we're doing here. Well, we're doing the body work, but Ooh. You're gonna need a block, a grinder, a cutoff wheel, a sander, an extension, Damn, we got a hammer, and a piece of metal that I cut out of a Toyota Corolla. For what? Because it's gotta stay in the family. I'll show you in a second. But, so basically let's walk around. You ready? Boy, I was born ready, what do you mean? All right, let's give him a run around. What about this? Uh, body work, all the body work on the Lexus. See if we can knock it all out tonight. So it's gonna be, this is actually the worst dent that we have, which is not bad. Uh, a few other small dings like this. We got a couple in the trunk. There's actually another one up here that I did not circle. You have your markers? I'll, I'll find it. Um, what do you have that piece of metal for? Ah. A block off plate. Bam! You too smart. So I'm gonna weld that in there and put a little skim on it. I'm gonna do that first so then I can cool down. And then I'm just gonna sand it all. Smack this out with that uh, extension that I showed you earlier. And then these are all like one, maybe two skims for everything. You doing the doors too or just the bottom? Uh, I think this is the only one with a dent, actually. Unless I put more on them, I'm pretty sure this is the only dent. So I'm just gonna do this right here. All right, so we're gonna start with welding. I'm trying to find the position with the cleanest edges. I'm not too concerned about it looking the best, but Man, because what well, you'd be covering up mud anyway. See? Well, you know I can't really record you welding, right? Probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna learn anything. I'm gonna get blind looking. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You gotta give him a flick. For what? Uh, That's how you get the boys interested. <laughs> yeah, they gonna think something wrong with you. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna think correctly. All right, let's check it out. So I just welded it in a little plate. Super hot, but she's looking good. See, the key is every single time you're done welding is you gotta touch it to make sure that it's really hot. It's really hot. I could definitely cook an egg on that. All right, so while that's cooling down, I'm gonna bang this out. This extension. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I'm just gonna fill her up. All right, I'm gonna ground this bit down. A little 120 grit sandpaper. What I like to do is sand around it evenly when I'm doing a bunch of top coat dents so then I know where the dent is in the middle of where I'm sanding. So. Ah!
You just blow them off to like all the dust out of the crevices so your your body filler has a better like adhesion to the panel, I think. I don't know. Some people like to wipe it down with wax and grease remover and waste a bunch of time. And for this, we're using Evercoat Quantum One. You don't need to grind it before you skim it. So this will be for the antenna hole and the big dent on the quarter. And then all the other ones I'll be using metal glaze, just a finishing putty. So we'll start with this to fill the big dents and then we'll move to that for the finer stuff. What's the difference between the two? This is like thicker, better at filling like large holes. It's also a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. This is more like watery and it has like a better finish after you spread it. Less pinholes as well. Let's get in it. Okay, so I'm gonna tap these low so I can fill them with this first coat. This is not the way to do this. I would not do this on anyone else's car other than my own. That's not true. A lot of people would ask for this. I know. Would that help uh, mud? To fill. If I just skimmed right over that hole, this actually is probably slightly higher. You can see that the sander burnt through more around this rim. So that means that there would be no, like it would just be held on by the thickness of that metal. So you're gonna tap it in to create like a bowl that you can actually fill so it doesn't just fall through. So now we got little dents, but that's okay. You will probably need one skim of regular filler one skim of finishing putty. And then I'm just gonna use this old messed up spreader because on your first skim, it doesn't matter if you have like a bunch of streaks. A lot of the times when you skim, you'll hit this, the, the edge of this on something like that. And then when you start skimming it, you'll leave indents in the, in the mud. That's not as important on your first coats, but on your finishing coats, you want it to be as clean as possible. Then I would switch to a new spreader, but we're just gonna reuse this one. Serious face. Okay, so the first coat's drying, and I like to hit it while it's still kind of soft. If you hit it when it gets really hard, it takes too long. This will gum up your paper a little bit more if you do it while it's soft, but it saves you so much time rather than waiting till it's completely dry. So I'm gonna knock that down with some 80 grit. And then hopefully they'll all be ready for top coat and then I can do one top coat, sand them all down and then we're done. But I need to remove the this molding on the other side because I have a dent right on this edge. So we're gonna do that while this dries and then we'll come back and sand it. Hey, can I show them a 240p video? Let me just, let's just do it. You can cut it if it doesn't look good. Hey. And then we'll cut it there. <laughs> I might have spun. Phillips heads. I'm also just gonna chuck these after because race car, but I can't just say that because we're fixing dents on it. So that doesn't really make much sense. But this is just stupid. Why were you thinking, Lexus? You gotta put trim around your wheel wells. Like, okay, you're just trying to add weight at this point. By any way possible. Really. Yep. Look at that trash pile. This is after 450 pounds have been taken out of the car. I haven't weighed any of that. But, so it's gonna, we're probably around like 600, 700 pounds. This is gonna be, I'm gonna guess, I feel like it's gonna be like 3,250. You know, that, that math doesn't make any sense with the numbers that I've heard this car actually weighs. I think everything's heavier than they claim. We should also, we need to roll these. We don't have a fender roller no more. No, we don't. Do you know who does? PBM. Do you know where we're going? California. You know what we should do? Not pay for shipping. Go pick it up and bring it back here. It's not like that. To your standards now? <laughs> no, it actually might be a little soft, but look how, watch how fast this is. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> That's ready for a top coat. See, gums up the pad. You can see all the blue. 
in there. <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done sanding the, what, I don't even know what that is. Regular body filler. Now we're gonna be mixing up some top coat. This, I'll probably end up blocking most of it. Like I use a sanding block instead of the DA just because I don't want to have to skim it again. So for the sake of not waiting for it to dry and not caring because it's the Lexus, we're just gonna block it quickly. Also while it's soft, uh, rule of thumb when you do the hardener, do it from side to side, one line. But if you do like half of that, you'll probably be okay. If you do twice that, you'll probably be okay. Oh, all right, now you just gotta try to make it all the way around the car without your hardener hardening or your body color hardening. So far. Can we make it? That'll that'll do. Thirteen and a half hours. Dude. It's coming. Go. You're jibber jabbering. So we're back from we'll our back food, to work. Food break. Yep, we waited way too long for this to dry, so now we gotta sand it like normal. Um I'm gonna hit it with 80 grit first, and then I'll probably hit it with 120. People say finish it with 180, but you just don't use enough primer or your painter's an asshole. So we're just gonna knock this down, and then that'll be it. This is definitely the last coat. This is actually only the second coat. First coat for a lot of these, but. All right, let's do it. Too much talking today because I drank some uh, strawberry milk. Man, my stomach hurt. I've been out of it. Uh, Greg is doing his thing. He's knocking it out. I gave it to him. He's the, the body tech man. Gonna have this thing looking real flawless. Should be done in about three, two, one. Is he done? I'm gonna do a quick uh, block with 120. This needs another top coat. You can see right there that it wasn't sanded all the way through. I'll probably do that tomorrow because I have so much mud work to do tomorrow and it's 11 o'clock and I've been here for 13 hours, 14 hours. I'm gonna give you the quick block and then they'll be ready for primer. I don't even think, did you mention what color you painted it? Um, I don't, should I? Um, Wait, no, I think I did. Uh, painting it black. What shade of black? Straight black. <laughs> the cheapest paint. It's That's so exactly cool. why. And I don't have the color match it because I'm really mad that my flares don't match on my Z. So if I just do straight black, I have a I gallon mean, and a half mixed. When I reduce that, that'll reduce down to three gallons of sprayable paint. Mm -hmm. Three gallons, I could do this car five times. She's all done. Time to go home. Are you gonna take the baton? Sure, I'll take I'll take it like this. Mm. Wait, are we still recording? Okay, so this is one Lexus that's ready for paint. If you guys wanna see more, subscribe. See more of this Lexus. See more of that S2000. See more of this sick dash. Oh, video show. Oh. Oh. Damn, that came out Ooh. good. Oh. Maybe knobbies. That interior. LA. Okay. Soon. Yeah, so we're going to LA. May 10th, 10th to the 15th. 15th. We'll be staying in the Huntington Beach area. Um, so I guess just hit us up on comment. Streetbandito yes, at yes. gmail.com if you guys want to meet up with us in LA. We're going to try to hit up some cars and coffees and uh, some shops in the area. But you'll see those when we actually get there. Um, so you make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Cut it and uh, we'll see Where you next time. Cut. Bye. Cut.